these are my Saturday superlatives. Looking back on this Sunday at the heroes of Saturday, and I'll include Friday as well, since there was some Friday night football. Uh, but the on the defensive side of the ball, and we have to you know, once again give some love to the defense. I have to start with Joseph Asai. You really have to think hard to think of a player who's been more dominant in in that kind of game, in a game where obviously there's lots of plays being made up and down the field, but there's a handful of stops that really make the difference in modern football, particularly in the Big 12. But he had 12 tackles. Six of those were tackles for loss and three sacks, including the one that brought down the curtain on the hopes of the Pokes uh, when he made the game securing sack on Spencer Saunders. He was, they had no answers for him. Um, he, he held the edge in the run game. He blew through attempts to block him. They didn't do a lot of chipping him, uh, but when they did, he didn't seem to really get paid too much mind. Uh, he's clearly going to play at the next level, and if he continues along this way, he's going to push his way into, if he's not already in first-round discussions, he's going to push his way into it. Um, here's a, a guy that I'll be keeping my eye on. Mohamed Toure of Rutgers. Now, first of all, hats off to Rutgers for, first of all, just turning things around. I mean, we remember, obviously, you know, Rutgers got really good for a while under Shiano and then became kind of a laughing stock and was kind of a, a doormat in the conference. They now are playing in the Big Ten, and now with the return of Shiano, you can see some of that toughness, that grit return. But he had uh, three uh, tackles for loss and uh, three solo tackles, as well as two sacks was all over the place, and was solid in the run game as well. Uh, and a, another player, there other, another linebacker that really caught my eye, once again, sticking with Rutgers, was Olakunle Fultakasi, and he had uh, five stops, five solo stops, and then another four assists, and once again, was all over the field, sideline to sideline. He's a bigger backer. He's a big guy. He's probably about 244 pounds, and moves really well. He also bears watching. I'm going to keep moving. We don't give enough love to the big guys in the middle defensive tackles. And one who really, really had a huge game was Tommy Chogiai of, uh, of Ohio State. And he's sort of a Dan Saliamua type, can push the pocket, but also can split double teams at times and shoot in there. He had three sacks. I'm going to say that one more time. Three sacks from the defensive. And he's a real defensive tackle. He's not one of those sort of, of uh, three technique types who's you know almost like an edge rusher. No, he's a legit you know, guy who can play the nose. And he really showed me something. I'm going to keep going. Um, I really should just sort of try to celebrate SDSU as a group. Their secondary linebackers and, and defensive line are really good, all three levels. And uh, probably three or four guys out of that secondary are going to play in the NFL. Uh, Taylor Hawkins had a really good game. He had uh, three solo tackles, a couple of assists. He had a pass breakup. Uh, just was really good in coverage. Darren Hall is one of the best cover corners in in, in football, college football at least, and though he didn't have a lot of stats, parts because they were avoiding him, he still managed to get two solo tackles and helped on three others. Uh, Rashad Scott was a guy I hadn't really noticed before when I was watching, and I've watched a fair amount of that team, but he showed up. He had an interception, a couple of other tackles, um, including a half a tackle for loss. Uh, Cedric uh, uh, Loka Loka had a really good game, and he had an interception. Looked good in coverage, really good also in the against the run, and then, I mean, just everybody. <laughs> if you don't, if you like, if you like defense, promise me that you'll go out and watch some San Diego State Aztecs football, and you can come back and thank me later. Uh, this brings down the curtain on the first of November and the first of this month's Saturday superlatives. <laughs>